Hey, what's up guys? This is Anorexic51. I thought I'd post a quick crashed gear video review on everything I had on. When I had my motorcycle versus John Deere and hay trailer accident a couple of weeks back on August 9th. Um, quick rundown um, of what happened. I was in the last 60 miles on the way home. had been riding for probably about six about a little over six hours already. Um, heading westbound on Highway 60 in Minnesota, I uh, came upon a tractor pulling a hay trailer going about 35, 40 miles an hour. Sat behind him for about five minutes or so just to wait for a, a safe opportunity to pass. Um, dash line uh, just so it would be legal to pass or to make the overtake. No oncoming cars in the eastbound lane and no obvious turnoffs to the left that the tractor might make. Um, click down a couple of uh, gears. I'm on an 09 Ninja 250R. So I clicked down a couple of gears, got up to about 45, roughly 50 miles an hour, um, and he decided to turn left. Um, no brake lights, no turn signals, didn't even have his hazards on or connected on the trailer or the tractor. Um, so, front brakes hard, tucked the front end, um, went down hard on my left side. Um, initial impact was left shoulder, left elbow, and forearm, and then left knee touchdown as well. Um, got on my back as soon as I could and just hoped for a good end to the slide. Uh, slid about 30 feet in the off uh, in front of the tractor and off into the grass on the side of the highway, bike slid straight into the tractor and um, actually wedged itself long ways in between the front and rear tires of the tractor. So I'll try and get some pictures of the bike that we got from insurance um, from the adjuster that went to total it out. But um, on to the gear, um, everything all in all held up really well. Um, only thing that bit me was the jacket. It's a leather mesh hybrid, so that means uh, leather in the high impact, high abrasion areas, and uh, the shoulder, elbow, forearm, pretty much all the way down the outer outer sleeve, and then uh, with the back of the shoulders and the leather race hump. Um, what I think happened is in the near the beginning of the slide or when I went down the sleeve shifted and um, shifted from the leather area to the mesh area and obviously the pavement is going to eat right through the mesh so um, ended up with a small half dollar sized bit of road rash on my left elbow but other than that um, no injuries to speak of, no bruising, broken bones, no other abrasions, so really happy with how everything held up and performed and really lucky because uh, that could have been exponentially worse. i go a little bit into detail on the gear. Um, helmet I had on was the Bell Star Viper. Um, had the tinted shield on that day. Um, didn't even touch down. Um, really, really happy it did not touch down. Um, they said I was on an 09 Ninja 250R, um, relatively new rider, or pretty much a brand new rider. Um, have a couple of beginner track day instruction courses to my credit, and I actually went down, um, had a minor low, slide, low side at my first track day, and, um, I think that is why I knew to, to let go of the bike uh, when I knew I was going down in this accident, get on my back as soon as I could and just uh, hope for a good end. Um, the jacket, as you can see, um, 
the um, leather is pretty well scuffed because I went down on my shoulder. Um, the Knox armor in the shoulder, elbow and forearm held up great. Um, very protective. And then obviously the mesh ate through and uh, those areas. They had to cut the jacket up to my bicep just to uh, to make it easier to, to slide over the abrasion. Now slip it over. You can see a little bit of wear from the slide on the back. Um, little areas where it started eating through the mesh. A um, couple of holes but didn't uh, didn't even get through the, the liner and the windproof liner inside so got really lucky. The only thing I would change if I were to get this jacket again, um, they don't make it anymore, but I highly urge anyone that has uh, that rides in mesh jackets to invest in the Dragon Jeans Kevlar knit long sleeve shirt. Still knit, so it, you, uh, plenty breathable. Um, so if the mesh, if you happen to go down and uh, the pavement will get through the mesh, it still won't get through the Kevlar knit shirt. So you you have the the abrasion resistance. Um, the gloves are the Held Phantoms. Uh, just to mention the jacket was the RS Tai Chi High Protection Leather Mesh Hybrid. Um, the gloves are the Held Phantoms. Um, pretty much my favorite riding glove and I have three pairs of track orientated gloves. Um, damage is fairly minimal. Um, definitely usable again. Um, I have the outer left carbon wrist guard. Got scuffed up a bit. Um, turned over to the palm. Can see a lot of scuffing um, where I put my hand down to brace my fall and then the stingray uh, got worn a little bit but no popped seams. Um, top of the gloves didn't even touch down in the oh, right glove. Um, no damage at all. So really happy with how they perform. Definitely definitely usable again and uh, well worth the investment. Um, under armor I had on I had the Bond Adventure armored shorts. No damage whatsoever in the crash. Um, they I was rushed to the trauma unit at the Mayo Clinic where they promptly cut everything else off. So, but these shorts saved my hips from uh, probably a good bruising and good beating. So definitely will buy them again. Um, knee armor I had. These are the Dianese Knee V knee and shin guards. Um, never even touched the pavement, pavement and uh, pretty much saved my knee from being hurt really bad. Probably would have had a cracked kneecap at, at the very least because I slammed down pretty hard. Um, usable again, highly recommended. Um, pants I had on, these are the Shift Torque Kevlar jeans. Um, as you can see, the initial impact of the jeans, I went down on my left knee, ripped right through the denim, which is obvious, or which is a given, but didn't get any further than the Kevlar. You can see the scuffing, but did not get any further. Um, as I said before, I was rushed to trauma, so they cut the jeans off, so it looked like filet. Um, other damage, um, slid on my side for a little bit, so a little hole there, but you can see it didn't even get through the pocket. Kind of slip them over without having them fall apart. Um, other damage, see the belt loop is pretty much toast and little denim holes and dirt from the slide, but other than that, performed famously. Highly recommended. Um, not sure if I'll go with another pair of the Torx or give another brand a try, like uh, Dragons or um, Sarto Kevlar jeans. And final piece of equipment I was wearing were the Alpine Stars SMX Plus boots um, with the optional magnesium toe sliders. 
No damage whatsoever. Um, I only wear race boots or track focused boots when I ride. Um, also have a pair of CD Vertigo Corset Airs. Um, just due to the fact that the the SMX Pluses and the Vertigo Corses have the uh, the plastic lateral struts to prevent your ankle from from uh, snapping left to right. Um, damage very minimal. You can see scratches on the the ankle struts. An um, Scratches on the plastic heel area, replaceable heel guard scratched up a bit, and little scratches on the uh, the toe slider. That is about it. Left boot, even less. Um, toe slider, I think that's actually from my first down at the track day and just from getting down. Um, and then the heel guard, but... That is it. Um, guys, wear your gear. Guys and girls, wear your gear. You can have all the training. You can do uh, MSF basic rider course when you're first starting out. Do advanced courses like Total Parks or Total Control uh, with Lee Parks or um, like the advanced MSF courses. You can do beginner track days. All the training in the world, you still have to uh, account for inattentiveness of other motorists. So, um, once again, this is Anorexic51 signing off. Um, take care, ride safe, ride safe, and wear your gear.